So you want to know what actually makes a difference to your FPS? What is actually going to provide me the best performance? You watched all the guides. You watched all those YouTube Windows optimization, game optimization guides, but you don't know if it actually made a difference to your input lag or your FPS or not. I'm going to show you guys how to actually check to see if it made a difference here. My name is Krim Neal from Sense Quality, and I'm going to show you guys a guide today of how to benchmark using MSI After burner and how to test if something actually makes a difference for the better or worse of your PC plus a little bit of extra sauce and other stuff here or there so let's get into it so let's say I'm on my gaming PC and I only see a limited amount of information with the game I play. I'm, I'm playing Warzone right now and it only shows me like my GPU times and GPU temperatures, but I want more information like the top right of my screen here. So what you do to get this overlay or more information is you would download a program called MSI Afterburner. So I would just type in MSI Afterburner on uh, Google and I will click on the MSI.com. I would go to download and I will download MSI and you want to download Reva tuner with this now I'm going to pull up the program here because I already have it downloaded but this program is really really powerful guys this will show you a lot of things that's going on with your PC and it'll display an overlay for you so you could see exactly how your game's running exactly what's making a difference in your game when you change settings and stuff or follow guides and stuff like that so you would click on this toggle wheel right here and you would click on monitoring so this is how to get that overlay that you saw my game have over there and let's say I wanted to monitor the CPU temperatures so I would click make sure that this graph is check marked right here I would make sure that show in on screen display is also check marked if you wanted a graph with it as well you can click text in graph and check mark that and that's perfectly fine as well but I just want the text for now so I'll just leave that at text then what you can do is if you wanted this as its own name or its own group you could override group and you could click on cpu and i could name it temperatures and override the group here so i'm just going to do that right now so cpu temp and i'm going to click apply and then after i click okay i'm going to open up the game here and i'm kicked for inactivity but you can see here that it is its own group here cpu temp 57 degrees 53 degrees so you can see everything everything that's going on from right there and it's actually a really useful tool guys if you want to use it i like to use or leave all the, this information in one group so let's say it's a cpu temperature it's a cpu usage and everything recording to cpu i like leaving it in one group so i'll uncheck that override group name and i will leave it in this one group here so if you could see on my screen here it is all all in this one group so cpu temperatures cpu usage and my cpu powers all in that one group and that's a lot of information guys that's really useful i also add my fps my frame time because frame time is really important and my gpu uh group as well so it also shows my gpu temperature my gpu group and my gpu power or my gpu percentage so that's pretty cool here so that is actually how you see everything that's going on with your pc in one little group right there that's pretty cool right so i'm going to show you guys another trick of how to benchmark and can tell the difference between fps guide or let's say you did an optimization you want to tell the difference this is actually a really cool way of how you can tell that difference there so when you're benchmarking it's not only about average fps it's also about your one percent and it's about your 0.1 percent fps lows so in this little tab right here i would click on my fps frame rate 1% lows and I would click on show in on screen display then I would click on frame rate 0.1% lows show in on screen display also I would override the group name to fps 0.1 percent for my 0.1 percent lows and i would override the group name here for fps 1 percent now stick with me guys this is the important part this is how you could tell if a guide has the juice or not this is how you could tell if it makes a difference for your pc or not this is how you could tell what is the best nvidia driver what is not the best nvidia driver this is how you could tell if a change is made one little simple change what is the effect of that change 
change here. This is really, really powerful. So as soon as you do that and you click apply, I would go to the benchmark tab. Now at the benchmark tab, this is really important. The begin recording is how you start your benchmark. The end recording is how you end your benchmark. So for the beginning of recording, I just press star on my keyboard and that's my how I start my benchmark. For the end recording, if I wanted to end my benchmark, I would double click minus. So anything that's your end recording, you have to double click it to make sure it actually ends your benchmark here. And if you ever wanted to view your benchmark results, you would just click over here view and you could view all your benchmark results here which is awesome so now i would press apply after you decide your hotkeys and i would press okay and then we'll go into the actual game here so once we're in the actual game we see all of this information right now what you have to do is you always have to find your benchmark trail so always always find a spot on the map or something to make sure that your benchmark is as accurate as possible you can't just benchmark here and then benchmark downtown or something like that. You always want to be consistent. The key to knowing what's good and what's not for your PC is being consistent. Now, what you would do to start your benchmark is press that begin hotkey. So I would press star for me. And as you can see, it's showing my FPS 1% and my FPS 0.1%. And I could do a lot of things with this information, guys. I could see what actually makes a difference with my FPS, what doesn't, how does my system perform when this is on or when this is off how does my system perform with this nvidia driver versus another nvidia driver this makes a ton of difference and you can do this with amd graphics cards as well now let's say i wanted to end my benchmark i would double click my end recording and boom my benchmark is done now let's say i wanted to see my benchmark results i would go back in msi afterburner i would go to benchmark i would go to view and bang there is my fps or fps benchmark results here and this gives you a lot of information this could tell you what's the difference between 0.1 percent lows on a different nvidia driver what's the difference between uh having my cpu overclocked and having not having my cpu overclocked this can tell you the difference of every setting that you change on your computer and it is really powerful if you know how to use this here plus while you're playing you could see exactly how your pc is performing to see if you have any kind of bottlenecks pretty cool right so now you guys can go into any kind of fps optimization guide and see what actually makes a difference what's fluff what is the truth and that's what we're giving you guys today i'm giving you guys the truth because a lot of stuff on youtube is just fluff guys and it doesn't make a difference you can tell the difference that you're experiencing through this so let's say i was going to do a fps guide right before i do any kind of fps guide on youtube i would always go to system restore and i would create a restore point so i would click create and i would just type in fps guide one and once you create a restore point bang you can test how your pc is right now you can apply all the changes that they've made in their fps guide and then you could test how your pc is after once you see the differences of before and after that is how you know if it made a fps difference or not now i would do a few runs just to get an average of how things make a difference to your system so let's say i'm doing a before and after for an fps guide i would do at least five runs of my system before the fps guide and five runs of after the fps guide and take an average of all those numbers and compare them like that so that's actually a really really powerful thing that you could do to see what's the difference between fps and no fps most of you guys aren't going to use this but it's actually how you can tell what's actually making a difference in your system if you ever worried hey Cornel, like what actually makes a difference what do i have to upgrade what driver do i have to change this is how you can tell guys this is really really powerful and let's say i wanted to upgrade my system i didn't know what to upgrade i know what game i play but i don't know what to upgrade in general what you would do is you would add these little markers in your game here and you could see that my cpu percentage is 31 percent and my gpu percentage is 98 percent so the thing that i should probably upgrade in my system here is my gpu because my gpu is the one limiting me not my cpu so if i look up into the sky here which is an easy way to tell it is still limiting me here and you could see how my fps goes up the lower my gpu percentage is and you can tell by the watts that it's using how much my gpu is actually working so right now my gpu is using 313 watts 
when I look up into the sky and my GPU is only using 261 watts. That means it's working less and I'm getting 309 FPS here, which is crazy. So that tells you exactly what you need to upgrade when it comes to your system. And it tells you if your CPU or GPU bottlenecked, which is amazing. Now, let's say you wanted to cap your FPS because if you just leave your FPS just uncapped, it does cause input delay here. What you can do to cap your FPS is you can come over here to Reva Tuner and in Reva Tuner, it has a frame rate limit. So all I would do is set the frame rate limit to let's say like 200 or something like that. I would set it three below your monitor. So like, let's say 237 or three below the average FPS that you get. So like, let's say this PC is average at 240. I would set it below that. And you can see here that my FPS is completely capped. Pretty cool, right? So that is an easy way to cap your FPS in game and limit input delay here. And that actually really does help with your input delay in general and this pc is having the lowest input delay possible due to this and my gpu is not overworking and it's reducing my gpu temperature as a whole now let's say a different let me let me show you guys a different trick here so i'm giving you guys the bonus tips for sticking around this long so i'm going to click the toggle wheel and let's say i wanted to decrease my gpu's actual temperatures what you would do is click on the toggle wheel go to fan click on enable user defined software automatic fan control with this automatic fan control i can control exactly my fan speed at what temperature my gpu actually gets so let's say i wanted to change my fan speed at 50 degrees celsius when my gpu is 50 degrees celsius what you would do is click on 50 or you would just click on anywhere on this graph and at 50 degrees i will put my fan speed at 70 percent boom so 50 degrees 70 percent fan speed right there which is pretty awesome and that's how you keep your gpu temperatures low as well so i would definitely definitely use msi afterburner for anything that you would like here uh it really makes a difference between seeing the difference of before and after any kind of fps guides it really makes a difference of seeing oh what do i have to upgrade on my pc in general you can test almost anything with this msi afterburner benchmark test here so i really hope this helps guys if you don't want to go through any of this you just want the numbers you just want your fps as the highest possible fps here i would recommend going to sensequality.com where we have professionals that can take care of that for you we usually work with the top warzone or call of duty professional players the top apex and valorant professional players and we could give you guys the same service as we give them here so if you just want the answers and you don't want to go through all of this to find the answers we got you covered because we do this on the daily basis so if you want the most fps possible sensequality.com we definitely got you and i hope this helps guys i hope this video really makes a difference because i see a lot of youtube videos that really don't make a difference in terms of your fps and you guys wouldn't know that because you guys don't know how to test for it and now you guys have the ability to test for it so hopefully you like and subscribe to see more of this content i'm just going to give you guys truthful pc tips here and there just to make sure you guys have the best performance possible my name is Cornel from Seth quality i hope you guys have a rest a good rest of your day